Among the more remarkable features of a garret are the two pivots connecting the three components of the locomotive. Thereby, garrets are able to conduct relatively small radiuses of curvature. The resulting low axle load was only one of the advantages that made the garret of a success of its time. The South Australian 400 class garret has built in 1952. Therefore, its construction can be considered technically mature. The construction type of the pivot heads, as well as their detailed documentation, makes therefore a highly interesting example of the contemporary engineering. The load-bearing basis of the pivot is embedded inside the frame of the engine, a complex casting part with a large number of penetrations and holes remarkable as skeleton lightness. A system of oil channels provides for a perfect creasing of the movable parts. The inclusion of a center pin positions and trims the pivot permanently via a tangering wedge of two springs. A cover with connections for the oil supply tubes and a sealing ring for the center pin finalizes this element. Through the body of the basis of the pivot, a piping is lead for bringing the waste steam from the cylinders to the smoke box. In the center of rotation, this tube is equipped with a self-stressing ball joint. The center unit of the locomotive with boiler and cabin carries the two almost identical upper parts of the pivots. They are bolted over the whole width of the locomotive between the two frames. Over the actual rotation pin, a piping leads the steam from the boiler to the cylinders. To do the higher steam pressure and the higher steam temperature, it is built much more stable. The middle section of the locomotive is secured by a total of four bearings that are damped by springs against swingings and rollings. Of course, the control of the driving direction by means of rods also had to be conducted over the center pin. The same holds for the actuation of the dewatering of the cylinders. The tubes from the water tank to the boiler are realized via flexible hose connections. For the live steam model, I adjust the pivot and the steam tubes only by an unrecognizable bit. Of course, conducting the steam tubes over the pivot represents quite a challenge, also for making a model. Asta Hobby provides a good solution. However, it also has limitations in conducting small track radiuses. I chose a vertical ball joint. By this, I could also limit the loss of heat of the steam tubes towards the cylinders. For this, a tube of the tube system is used. The evaporating steam is lead in an exterior tube and at the same time serves as a thermal isolation for the interior active steam. <laughs>